So 2021 is the year well the next generation is gonna come if it is gonna be a possibility that is because at this point the, the pandemic is still going on we still have two more seasons spring and summer in order to get to autumn to actually watch the fifth generation movie and by that time we're gonna get more information evolving around that and yes i am gonna make videos once we get the information so don't worry i am gonna make videos around that but for right now I'm going to be making uh, more prediction videos, and the first prediction video I'm going to be talking about is songs or not. And judging by the title of my of this video, you probably are going to be uh, really sub subverted whether you completely think about the idea of having songs in Generation 5 or not. Now, I want to point this out, out of the way. I'm not saying that adding songs is a bad idea. The thing is, I can easily tolerate musicals and song numbers during times in Friendship is Magic, but the thing is, we're in the fifth generation. And I understand that there are different composers, but when you completely think about it, I honestly think that adding additional songs could easily make Generation 5 mostly redundant. Now, I, have to, I do understand that songs are basically... Uh, what people enjoy from media the most, mainly from Disney and other media that I'll get to eventually. However, the issue that I have involving Generation 5 doing songs again is because of one, we have had so many songs in Friendship is Magic to the point that it's obviously impossible to top them. And secondly, the composer, Daniel, Daniel is a really, is pretty much Basically, Friendship is Magic's best composer. I know there's different composers out there that can easily handle songs in Generation 5, if that's a possibility. But the thing is, the, Daniel completely did what he could in order to make the songs work for Generation 4. He literally did all the songs in Generation 4 and in the Quest of Gods. And when I completely heard of the fact that he did more songs that actually took place outside of Quest of Gods, you outside of Friendship is Magic, you can really tell that he went through a lot, and I mean a lot of different styles in order to make these songs actually fit in each scene that they're in. The issue I have with Generation 5 with songs is not because of the fact that it's going to start off a new generation. It's the fact that it's probably going to try to be its own thing, but at the same time, the songs that they're going to do are not going to have the same impact as what Friendship is Magic songs did in Generation 4. Here's what I mean by that. Whether you can probably see the one of the songs from Friendship is Magic, you can really tell that there was a lot of effort put into them, especially in each situation that the characters are in. Granted, it is debatable considering that not every single episode, including the audio seasons, have a song in each episode, but compared to what we're going to witness in Generation 5, it's going to be really difficult to actually top these songs, especially that <gasps> Generation 5 is going to be more care towards adults. Now, I get it. I am aware that Generation 5 is still going to be mostly cater to kids and I do understand what people are coming from when it comes to looking forward to Generation 5. However, the, however when you completely look at the songs that, Gen that Generation 4 did and wonder what Generation 5 is going to do, it's going to be really difficult to actually come up with original ideals, especially have the uh, Generation 5 characters sing them over. It's going to be really difficult con considering that the songs in Generation 4 really made the Bourne community and MLP fan base much more bigger and bigger. Now, here's my perspective on how the songs would probably not happen in Generation 5. If it would not happen, I can guarantee you that it could lead to a good direction on trying to put more focus on the characters, or it could easily be a setback towards the uh, newer generations since that those generations had better songs. But let's think about this for a second because believe me, 
for someone who really isn't interested into the all your generations, I can tell that the generations 1 through 3 may have some good songs, but at the same time, the songs are just really stressful to sit through. And for someone who makes reviews that aren't myself about how poorly done generation, how the older generations were, I would really think that they really didn't know how to handle the comp how the composer can handle the music in the older generations. Now, granted, I don't blame the composers from the older generations, but when you completely look at how they were compared to Generation Four, yeah, that's really sums up onto why people prefer the newer generations over the older ones. Yes. It's obvious that if there are all songs in Generation 5, they're obviously going to be compared to Generation 4. But at the same time, we all know that the Generation 4 is probably going to have the better songs compared to the other generations because of how much effort it has. Now, don't get me wrong. I do understand that Generation 5 is going to have much more effort just like in Generation 4. But considering that we're going to have new characters that are going to be a lot more different compared to what we've witnessed from the older generations, it's going to be a really difficult task, especially of how the characters are going to be act. We all know for well that the new characters on that we all know that the we all know for well that the original cast of Friendship is Magic isn't going to be part of the newer series as the main characters, especially since that we're going to get a second season. Oh my god, we're getting a second season of Pony Life instead of more context involving the Crusty Girls. Oh my god, the world is completely out of place. But at the same time, I really think that they really want to actually have the newer characters have some kind of depth if they're actually going to have songs to sing. And when you completely see of how good Generation 4 did with its songs, especially from the movie and the Crusader Girls movies, it's obviously going to be a lot more complicated to actually imagine of how Generation 5's composer is going to be like if it does have songs. Let me go talk about the other cartoons that actually had short songs but also really entertaining. Shows like Adventure Time and Steven Universe. They may have short songs that actually attracted so many people, but at the same time, it's basically the type of songs that really just ju really depends on what you actually enjoy with e with the genre of music that you grew up with. And yes, I will admit that Friendship is Magic has so many different genres of music when it comes to those songs, but at the same time, they went through a lot of stress and effort to actually make those songs entertain. Same goes to Yellow songs from the Yellow cartoons. They've done so much research and effort to actually make these songs work in some of the episodes and movies that they were in. And whether you completely think of what Generation 5 is going to do, there is a possibility that the one song or two can be considered popular. But the more you look at Friendship is Magic, you can really tell that it's going to be a lot more difficult to think that these songs would probably not top the older generations compared to how good the Generation 4 songs were. And trust me, I may not be a, comp I may not be a critic at composing music, but at the same time, with each song that I sing, it takes a lot of time to actually get most of the lyrics right. And the fact that it becomes a lot more complicated of how each song becomes a lot more stressful than the last, and the fact that a composer is going to be the one doing most of the work, you can really see of how Generation 5 is going to be completely different. If there is going to be songs in Generation, in Generation 5, then I can tell that it's not going to be on the same uh, same quality as Generation 4. Granted, it's all for debates, but at the same time, we just need to expect the unexpected of how Generation 5 is going to play out. It is obvious that that, the, that they could surprise us like what Generation 4 did, but keep this in mind, what, they're going to start from scratch again. They're going to make new characters, and they're going to figure out some other ways to make songs work for those characters. 
we're not going to see a uh, next Twilight Sparkle or next Pinkie Pie. We're going to see a new cast of characters. Because like in the earlier generations, there were different cast of characters. So I have to uh, actually accept the fact that we have to expect the unexpected. Especially with my perspectives of what I've seen from uh, other information involving my predictions of Generation 5. Now, yes, I will admit that the new composer might be able to surprise us like Daniel did. But keep this in mind, we really need to actually keep our expectations a little low. Not completely high, just a little low compared to what, we're, compared to what we saw from Generation 4. Episodes that are considered great, like The Perfect Pale with one song, are prime examples on to why those episodes become way more better. Granted, there were other songs and there, there were other materials that made The Perfect Pale a really great episode, but at the same time, the song that Bright Mac and Pure Bottle sang is just basically the additional quality that they added in the episode, which why The Perfect Pale is one of the best episodes from Friendship is Magic. And as for the other songs that I've seen involving Friendship is Magic, it's going to be really impossible to top them. Yes, I did mention that there could be a way to top these songs, but when you completely look at what the songs do in the all your s in the Generation 4 along with how they've done in other Disney films and stuff like that, it's going to be a really difficult time to actually th think that the possible composer of Generation 5 could easily make interesting tracks in Generation 5. Yes, it may be something that we need to expect once we hear more information from Hasbro in this year, but keep this in mind. Sometimes not everything can actually work out at the end, and if they don't work out, then they always has to. Then there's always a point where they decide to probably give up and just decide to have the generation with no songs. Yes, it is maybe my opinion that there could be songs in the newer generation, for, but from my perspective, I honestly think that they should probably not do any songs if they cannot. Be able to come up with new ideals for the new generation. Yes, they might get a new composer, obviously, but at the same time, we still don't know for sure. As long as we actually keep our expectations not so high, we might be able to actually see some kind of interesting excitement for what Generation 5 has to offer. So let's just hope that Generation 5 can actually surprise us and let's not have our expectations way too high. Again, this is all my opinion, so just relax. We don't know what's going to happen, so just keep this an open mind and actually understand that this is still, we, we've always started off this year, and we still need to wait before we get more information involving Generation 5. I just cannot believe that we're actually entering a year where we actually get to see my Little Pony contact, Maya's Pony Life for real from a current generation that is about to begin once we hit to September. But at the same time, we just need to wait until what we expect from Generation 5 once the movie, the CGI movie premieres in, in the fall of this year. Anyway, I'm Lonely Fanboy Boy here, and I'll see you guys next time.